Okay, so we're in the up-down mover. I guess I should zoom in here too, hey? Sorry about that, folks. So this is going to be the... My keyboard stopped working. Let's try this again. Okay, let's uh, set the left down, left, come on, Belgian, left right mover to zero. And is that it? No, one more case. And this is uh, S. And S, we want the up down mover to be equal to, because if we're hitting downwards, it is going to be positive. So, whoops, so it's going to be 10. Come on. And then uh, the left right should be zero. Alright, so is that all the cases? Bam, I think so. Anything else we have to do in this sub? Um, I don't believe so. So, so there's our key press. That's going to determine which way the movers are. And now we need it. Need a timer that's going to move them. Let's go to our. F oh, what did I hit? The wrong button. So now we can go to our form design, and let's drop a timer on here under components. I believe it is. Double click timer. Naming conventions, often I will go timers are TM. So TM, and this is going to be the snake mover. Uh, I find the speed I used before was 50. Let's see if that's a good speed. Now inside, uh, let's double click to get into the click event, or not the click event, sorry, the tick event of the timer. And all we're going to do is decrement the snake head by the left right mover and the up down mover. So, what's the name of our snake head? I guess it's snake at spot zero. And it's always going to be spot zero because I'm always going to move the head and the rest of the body is going to follow suit. So dot top plus equals up down mover and snake at spot zero dot left plus equals left right mover. And that should do her. Maybe in the form load we'll turn on the timer. Timer, no, what did I call it? TM, TM snake mover dot start. And I believe that's it. Let's see if this works. So we'll play this. And there goes our snake. It's a little sketchy. It's a little fast. So maybe that interval's a little too fast. And okay. We didn't put anything as far as what it's supposed to do near the edge, so we can do that later. So we got our snake moving, and we created the head, the timer. Let's drop that timer into the snake stuff. Oops, so let's grab it and just move it into the snake moving stuff, so just to keep organized, all right? All right. Next. Okay, next step is to lengthen the snake. And we're going to make a sub, call it Snake Lengthener. And the logic I was going to use is that it is going to go where the position was before it. So private sub lengthen snake. So if this makes sense, so if the first box was right here, if the first part of the snake was right where the cursor was, then the next one is going to have the same dot top property. It's going to have the dot left property of the old one plus five, and then the next one so forth. Okay? So there's my logic. So length and snake, we are going to increment length of snake first. Uh, length of snake plus equals one then we're going to ask for a new picture box so snake actually let me zoom in for you folks so snake <coughs> sorry my computer glitches out a little bit when I zoom in patience I could tell some jokes there we go snake at length of snake at index length of snake is equal to new picture box so picture uh, I may have to go uh, hang on a second um, where was I here oh yeah zooming in uh, kids are 
pretty excited. Okay, anyways, we're gonna have a with statement because we're creating a new picture box. So with, with, with. There we go. My computer glitched out again. Now that's whenever you're using with statements, it's the object. In this case, the snake is the object, and so it's an array at index length of snake. And then enter, and then everything that goes inside the width here is going to be connected to this object. So we're just giving it properties here. So dot height, and that was 10. Dot width, and that was 10. So we got width, height, let's go back color. Uh, what color do we give it? Weight, I think, right? Dot back color. And then uh, yeah, let's give it the dot top. I'm just going to give it the same dot prop location on the field as a, as the snake before it. So that's going to be the head of the snake in this case. But it's not always going to be the head of the snake. It's going to be the one right before it. So the object is snake, length of snake, length. If I could type, this would be awesome. Length of snake minus one. And then the dot left. Oh, it didn't like that, eh? Oh, dot top. Because it's the dot top of that snake. And then the dot left. Let's give it the snake at length of snake. Same deal. Minus one. Dot left. But let's, because then it'll be right on top, let's just add 10. So let's just go plus 10. Okay, so we gave it a height, a width, a back color, a top, a left. I think that might be it. Let's get outside the width. And same as before, we have to give it properties. Who gives it the properties? The form. What's the form called? Me. Me.controls.add. And who are giving the, the... What's the object that we're giving it to? This is snake at length of... at index length of snake. Okay, and again, we want to bring it to front. Otherwise, it'll you'll never see it because of that picture box. Snake at index length of snake dot bring to front. Okay, I think that might be it. So if I zoom out of here or zoom in, zoom out, and to see if it works, what we're going to do maybe is when we create the head. Right at the bottom of this sub, let's just call lengthen snake and we'll lengthen it a couple times. So we'll lengthen snake and we'll do it again. So it should have two body parts. Okay, so we just said lengthen snake, lengthen snake. Let's press play. Let's see if that works. Alright, and as you can see, the snake is there, but if we move, just the head moves because we haven't coded in what's the body to do. Right? Does that make sense? Good. I know you guys are following along. So, we no longer have to work in create head. Length and snake is done. Check. Okay, the snake mover now. I learned this the hard way and a lot of thinking. Since you got to start with the tail and move it first. Then you have to move the second to last one, then the third to last one. Because if you go the other way, it'll just sit on top of it. So you would take this guy, put it in this spot. Take this one, put it in this spot. If the snake is moving upwards, then you would take you know this snake and follow it upwards. Okay. So there's that logic. We're, so we're going to run a for loop inside the snake mover, and we're going to go through the entire snake and move them all. So we're going to say for i equals, and we're going to start at the back end of the snake, which is going to be what index? Length of snake, right? And it's going to go all the way. We don't actually have to move the head because the head's already moving. So to 1, and we're going to step by negative 1. And inside here, we're just going to say the snake at index i now, because i is going to move in our four counter, dot top is equal to the one right before it. So snake at i, whoops, i minus one dot top and snake at position i dot left 
equals snake. Right, and this is i minus one again. Dot left. And I think that might be it. So if we play this now, the whole body should move around. Let's find out. So if we press play. And uh oh, I didn't like something. Whoops. Maybe I should press this again. Oh, getting. Oh, there it is. I wonder why it's glitching out there. Oh, because that timer starts right away. I shouldn't have that timer start at the beginning. But there's our snake moving around, right? So, um, I should have the timer start with a button. Because if you press, if I press play, if you watch it, the snake is there. No, it wasn't there. Anyways, it's there, but because the timer is instant, this gets executed. Therefore, you don't see the body of the snake. All right. Okay. What's next? Next, we got to decide how the snake grows. Okay.